We're gonna bring them to the incubator. Some of them look good, some of them look bad. Oh yeah, check this out, check this out, check this out. Look at this, you guys. We got a broken egg right here. That could have been a hatch out. I'm not too sure. What is up, Ranch Fam? Welcome back to another video here at the ranch. Today, you guys, we have some really, really special things that we're gonna show you. We have some things we have to find, some updates, and uh, a little bit of feeding. So let's make it happen. So I swear, I thought Nutella was going to uh, give birth very, very soon. She's still very large and very pregnant. Um, so she should be having her fawn hopefully very soon, which should be really, really cool. So we'll stay tuned for that. So have our fingers crossed. Make sure you guys are following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram. Why? Because that is the spot that I'm going to show you guys the first announcement before even YouTube or any of that cool stuff. All my announcements get posted there on my stories and all that amazing thing. But yeah, but Nutella's right here. Hey, Nutella, you want one? Here you go, Missy. No, you don't, you don't want that one? All right, what about a green bean? Mm, peanut wants the green bean. Look at Peanut's fangs, bro. They're insane. Peanut, look at those fangs. Massive, massive. Look, 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 look. Go down low, go down low. Look at those things. Woo, those will mess you up. Here, Nutella, you want it? Yeah, I know you want it. All right, you don't want it. Peanut only wants it. All right, they only eat from my hands when they're really, really hungry because it's morning time. We haven't fed them yet. There you go, mister. All right. Let's drop down some food. So we like to have, in here we have some rainbow carrots, some apples, green beans, and then a postdoc diet all inside of there. They get that twice a day. And they also get a mixture of ONA hay and TNA hay. Because as you can see, there's no more grass. The grass is completely gone from them running around doing their thing. And that just happens. All the trees that fell down, we left them in here because they've been eating them. They've been rubbing their heads on them. It makes it more natural. Obviously in the wild, in the woods, there's not a cleanup crew to pick up your fallen trees. So I like to make it as natural as I can. And that's pretty much your best enrichment that we can do for them. But again, they are getting that expansion 2025. Stay tuned for that. Let's head to the aviary. All right, the cassowaries are doing their run and shabam. Bananas, some weird orange looking hybrid apple things. A head of romaine lettuce, and uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. They also get some pellet a little later, and they have some pears in there. That's it, cassowaries are doing absolutely amazing. They're growing, they're looking flawless. Um, their colorations are starting to expand a lot more, and that last little bit of brown is really starting to come out. It almost looks like they just have highlights now. Very light highlights, and that's it. But they're doing amazing, I'm really, really excited about them. We're gonna start adding the new trees in the new part of the enclosure, because that obviously has to get done. Just haven't got around to that yet. We've been working on other projects behind the scenes. Um, but they're doing good. They're doing absolutely amazing. Let's see, that's some little highlights I was telling you guys about. All right, in the aviary we are. Grapes, pears, bananas, apples, soft build diet. A little bit for our Taracos up top. And then some for our trumpeters down below. Then we give our ducks a little bit of corn scratch and waterfowl diet. Check out the tree we cut in half. She's already starting to grow back. She's starting to look absolutely amazing. And she's gonna, you know, spread her wings in here very soon. None of the ducks are being seen except the white cheek pintails and the silver pintails. But yesterday I was doing some exploration inside of the aviary and I found something for you guys. Let's go check it out. I don't know what hit me, you guys, but I've just got some crazy allergy attack. Anyways, we were walking over here yesterday. I was seeing some cool stuff. This is perfect black wood turtle habitat why this is their aviary this is their home but this area has a lot of leaf litter and a lot of areas for them to lay eggs so follow me over here check this out so i wanted to tell you guys one thing first off if you guys don't have checked the website we have a ton of wood turtles available great sales some of the awesome coolest turtles around so check them out all right this stuff is like just the best growing area for turtles might even find a baby if we get lucky oh yeah check this out check this out check this out looks like we have a nest right here so we have one egg right here it is fully heavy and big we're gonna send that to the incubator when we come over here look at this you guys we got a broken egg right here that could have been a hatch out i'm not too sure You know, they could, they could be anywhere in this aviary. All right, here we go. Another one right there. Another one right there. 
Another one right there. They are solid. They are heavy, you guys. They're probably filled with babies in there. But it's good that we find them because I don't want to just leave them inside of the aviary because then it's harder for me to... Look, 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 look. So what are you doing? So what you doing over there? So yeah, let's like to find the eggs, collect them all up. It gives a better chance for us to find the babies. If not, then we have a harder chance to find them. But check that out. Look at that. Six eggs right there. One broke out. I don't know if it hatched or cracked or what it was. Let's go look around a little more. Actually, I'm just making sure we don't feed a baby. It is season for them to start hatching, you guys. So the next little rain that we get, we have to explore this aviary because we're probably going to be able to find some babies. But let's go down that way to another high-level egg-laying spot. I'm going to show you now. Again, if you guys were not following me on Blake's Exotic Animal Ranch on Instagram, yesterday on my story we had a fight of yellowfoots going on i don't know what the drop of the temperature or what's going on here but there's been fights of yellowfoots happening all the time check this out i heard some squeaking over here and the squeaking was a male yellowfoot look at this a male yellowfoot pushing around a female trying to see if she's getting ready to breed or not and this area is a very very high and dry area and is a high spot for tortoises to lay eggs they love to lay eggs over there because they know that area does not flood. In the lower areas of the aviary, it could flood, and they know that could be an issue. They could feel the ground, it's crazy. But that male yellowfoot is chasing around the females like crazy. It is insane how you have such a large aviary, a large enclosure, 100 foot long, 40 foot wide, 33 at the peak. Obviously the tortoises are not using the height part of it, but they're able to explore this whole entire aviary. These tortoises were on the other side yesterday morning over there, and now he's all the way on the other side. They used the entire enclosure. So that's why when people message me and ask me all the time, what size enclosure should I use? The bigger, the better. The animal is always going to be happier. Yes, it might be a little harder to find your tortoise eggs and all that stuff, but for the health and for the happiness of your tortoises, bigger is always better, guaranteed. And the more natural too. I mean, just look at this. Insane. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, if you quiet down just a few seconds, construction next door, trees blowing, waterfall crashing. That male is still hitting the female over there, trying to push her around, trying to figure it out, see what's going on. But all inside of here, look at this. More areas of low areas. This is like a highway back there. It's a highway for the tortoises to look around. But that's really, really cool that we saw that happening right now. Let's see if we can find anything else. And I'm still looking for some babies. I don't really see any babies right now. Because again, there's no rain, there's no water. The babies just sit down, they don't really move much. Nothing really happens. So check this out though. The fish, the bass, the tilapia, everybody looks amazing. The water's I mean, really clear. The water's super, super, super clear, you guys. This ecosystem is absolutely amazing. Reason why we wanna make our capybara pond with the filtration four times the size so that our capybaras have a lot more clear water. Obviously, having four adult large capybaras in one ecosystem with a small wetland is not, you know, ideal. There's a lot of cleaning that has to get done because they poo and they do everything inside the water like crazy. But let's head back to the other side, collect those eggs, and let's go put them inside the incubator. I'm gonna show you some more eggs that we have there as well. All right, we're getting all these eggs. We're gonna bring them to the incubator. Some of them look good, some of them look bad, but we're not gonna take the risk. We're gonna take them all and put them in the incubator. Oh, here we go. Cassandra tried to cross the waterfall with me and didn't make it. I well, made gonna, it, I'm here. We're gonna keep on going. Take these inside. We collected probably close to 14 rhino clemmies eggs the other day as well, Central American wood turtles. And it's pretty awesome. We got a lot of those eggs the other day. All right, so inside the incubator room, all those right there are Central American wood turtle eggs. We have a ton of the babies available on the site as well. Because these eggs are older, I really don't want to move them too much and I really don't want to, you know, wash them because that's going to give them a lot of movement, which they don't need that right now because they're probably right at the age of hatching. So we'll let all those stay there. The humidity is going to wake them up. The humidity is just like if it started raining outside in the jungle, jungle floor, they'll wake them, stimulate them to wake up. So the humidity inside here will help a lot to get them going so they can hatch very soon. So other than that, you guys, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, put your post notification on. Make sure you guys are following me on all my socials. I'm on TikTok, I'm on Facebook, I'm obviously on YouTube and I'm on Instagram. Instagram where I post daily, all the time, different stories here on the ranch all the time. So make sure you guys go follow me there. Appreciate the support. Stay tuned for more videos. We're gonna try to be posting every, right we're posting? Wednesdays, Fridays, Mondays, I don't even know. Just keep those post notifications on, click that bell, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out, everybody.